Where was he during the DNC? When I was in the hospital, he was at work. He claimed that he was in a business meeting. Obviously, we know he wasn't in a business meeting. So what I think actually happened was he wasn't allowed to take off. Um, but I haven't found any evidence uh, other than that. From what I understand, he simply um, was at work. And that's all I know. Yes, he did have a real job. If you, oh man, I missed it. Okay, what do you think? What do I think the point of all this was? Like, what was his end game? I honestly don't know what was his end game. I think on some level, as crazy as this is gonna sound, I think he thought one of two things, he would never get caught or found out, or he thought I would never leave. And the reason why I say I think he thought I would never leave is because he had, he would make little jokes about, man, you, you, you a loyal chick. Like, and, I, and he didn't use the word chick, but he would be like, man, you loyal. Like, you know, you love me. You ain't going nowhere. Like he would say stuff like that. And I kind of think that he really did feel that way. You ain't going nowhere. Shit me. Um, if you had had the baby, would you have stayed? Jesus, that's a scary thought. Um, I don't think I would have, but I think that my motive for leaving would have been more for my kid than anything else. Welcome, if this is your first time on the TikTok Live, welcome. Um, okay, I don't know. Did you ever have to pay anything out of pocket while being with him? Yeah. Um, th so there were times I would take him out to eat. Um, he, Whenever we would go out to eat, for 98% of the time he paid. But just to try to reciprocate, um, I would take him out to eat. If I saw something on Amazon that I know that he liked as like a little surprise, because again, he really was doing those kind of things of, hey, I saw this purse that I know you like, ordered it, it's here. So just like he would try to surprise me, I would try to surprise him. In terms of bills, eventually I'm paying my car insurance and my cell phone because up until I got the Nissan, I was paying my car note, but once I got the Nissan, he was paying the car note. Do you see yourself going to therapy? Absolutely. How have you changed how you listen to God's direction now? Very good question. So I will tell you guys that the one thing that a prayer that terrified, used to terrify me to pray was, God, if this person isn't for me, remove them. And I feel like, and I think I made this joke that if I had said that during Legion's time in my life, I think before I even finished the prayer, he would have been gone. So now, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm just like, as soon as I meet somebody, if, if God, if this ain't the right one, just go ahead and remove them. Like, I don't even need to exchange phone numbers, just remove them. I'm, I'm good. Did he push you to share your bank account? Um, I'll come back to that. You said your bills were cheap. Do you think he left? How do I see that? Your place to pay bills. Do it. Yeah, I definitely think he wanted to look like a provider. Yes. He definitely wanted to look like a provider. That's why he was paying all the bills. Did he mess with my credit card? No. He didn't do anything with my credit. He didn't have the opportunity to. But nothing was done with my credit. How are you was still a good person after that? Well, thank you. Um, I have a sense of humor, but I'm, I'm struggling. No, he did not mess with my credit card. He didn't mess with my credit at all. Lexi, I never, I did not speak to David, the fake assistant. My doctor did. I text him and hit the fake assistant David responded. Cousin, what did you do for your birthday? I went to the spa. What happened to the appliances? He did not fully pay, pay for the appliances. He tried to do a hold order on them and he canceled it. So he got his money back because again, the appliances were gonna be for the first 
the very first house out in Douglasville. And obviously that went out. Did I ever find out who David really was? Yes, David was a figment of his imagination. David did not exist. Yes, I have seen his apartment. How about, what about this, oh shoot. Whoever just asked that question about the second wife, please ask it again and then try to pin it. Would you ever consider going on live with the ex-wife you spoke to? Truthfully, I, I don't know. I, I don't know. And the reason why I say that is because this has become a bit overwhelming. And so I also don't want to drag this out either because let's be honest, at some point we're all going to have to just move on. Um, is David's number actually the other phone number? I don't understand that question. Hey friend, watched all 50 episodes and girl, I'm glad you made it. Thank you. I'm glad I made it out too. Did you move after the divorce? <laughs> I'm sorry. Your question's valid. I'm, the reason why I'm laughing is because that's just a question that shows you, you didn't watch videos um yes i did move what happened to the neighbor you mentioned he got in a fight with her he never got in a fight with the neighbor he lied about that he lied about that to create some sort of discourse because he thrives on that never got into a fight with the neighbor so that was completely made up again if he told me it chances are i found out later it was made up Would you have dated him if he told the truth? What do you mean, Peachy Pears? If he had said, hey, I'm just a forklift loader and I ain't got no money and I don't have a dime to my name, probably not because he was not, he wouldn't have been stable. So let's just be real. Do you know what happened in his life that made him? Very good question. And, and I don't want to knock his family. I'm not knocking his family. But one of the things that I discovered in the conversations with him and other people Everybody has said, he's been like this since he was a kid, which tells me you all saw something in him that was never addressed, never corrected. And now he's a full grown man out here in the world, preying on whoever. Cause it's for the record, he's not just preying on women. He has lied to men too, not necessarily in a romantic way, but he lies to everyone. And for the family to all say, oh, he's been like this since a kid, but no one ever addressed it. 